He's uh, on table four. Barry Hawkins on table two. There's only three matches, the O'Sullivan Graymont match obviously not happening. I'm sure a lot of people wanted to see Ronnie, but they've been rewarded with uh, a chance to see another member of the class of 92, Mark Williams. Still going strong. He's actually eighth in the world now, so very much still at the top of the game. Won that British Open a couple of months ago. Marcel Eckhart, the referee. Everyone looking for a bit of Christmas cheer. Who will find it in this match? Let's find out. Back in your first frame. Mark Williams. So Mark Williams gets us underway. It's best of seven here in round one of the Bet Victor Scottish Open at the Meadowbank Centre in Edinburgh. Big crowd in. Great day to have a ticket. You get to see so many big names. Tonight they'll be watching Judd Trump and John Higgins, amongst various others. Mark Allen, the shootout champion as well, will be back in action. Sam Craigie from Wall's End in the northeast of England. He's uh, from close to where Wilson and Slesser are from. Of course, they've already played. Gary Wilson, the winner there, 4 3. Touching ball. Just to clarify, Liam Graham. Got a walkover with O'Sullivan withdrawing, so he'll play Ben Mertens of Belgium in round two. The winner of this match plays Yuan Sijun. There was qualifying back in September. Sorry, October it was. But uh, the top 16, of course, at the time, had, uh, did not have to go to Leicester for that. Last chance of the year, Joe, for someone to pick up a trophy. Yes. We'll try that again, Joe, now that uh, everything's working properly. Last chance of the year to win a trophy. Yes, absolutely. And uh, what a Christmas present it would make, wouldn't it? Along with much needed ranking points. Some of these guys in desperate need of them. Can make a difference of staying on the tour. Sam Craig, as we know, is a very, very good player. Cannot be taken lightly. That's right, it's a tough uh, draw actually for round one. He has struggled a little bit for form of late, Craigie, but I'm sure Mark Williams, we well, didn't take anyone for granted, but he'll recognise this as a potential banana skin. But nothing much bothers Mark, does it? Yeah, very laid back character. One of my favourites actually, he just strokes the ball around the black spot area, and when he gets in around that spot, area he just makes it look so easy hardly ever hits the ball hard unless he really needs to now craig has got to be careful here not to leave that red right over the left corner so i'll be trying to get that cue ball across by that green pocket but has he covered it it's going to be close this
Yeah, as you can see, he can get through to it. And if he pots it, One. could be on the black. Good pot, just slightly under it's it, but still a chance at the black. It's always been said, and it's true, just what a great single ball potter he is, and we saw evidence there. Bit of movement, I think, just in his eye line. Obviously, he's queuing towards the audience here with this pink. So just waiting for it's someone to settle down. People are being let in. They usually, yeah, well, we've <laughs> identified the culprit there, unfortunately for him, but uh, I'm sure he's trying to sit down as quickly as he can. <laughs> Good day to have a ticket with all these uh, big names in action. He'll be hoping, I think, that Mark pots this now. Well, his hopes were fulfilled. Good pot. And there was pressure on that because he was leaving this red to the middle had he missed it. Eight. That British Open success, £100,000 and, of course, ranking points staved off any sort of concerns about his top 16 place. He's number eight coming into this event. And also got him in the Players' Series tournaments as well coming up. So it's going to be a busy second half of the season for Mark Williams. 13. Chance just to settle down 14. now. Pot a few in this opening frame. Of course, he did play in the shootout a few days ago, but uh, lost second round there to Hamad Mir. Played, of course, in the former iteration of this event, the Scottish Open, before the Home Nations. Got to the final in the year 2000 in Aberdeen. It was a rather bruising experience. He lost 9-1 to Ronnie O'Sullivan. I was looking back, you know, the first ranking event in Scotland wasn't until 1997. Now, bearing in mind, by that point, Stephen Hendry had already won six world titles. It took a long time for snooker to actually come. 20. In terms of ranking snooker to come to Scotland, but... Thankfully, of course, with the Home Nation series, we get to come here every year now. For years, there was the old Scottish Masters event, the Invitation Tournament. I, modesty forbids, Joe, but you won that one year, I believe. <laughs> I did, yes, and um, what a great event it was. You know, very well attended. So snooker is well appreciated in Scotland. And it's good that it's here, without a doubt. So many fans... And so many great players being produced from Scotland. Once Stephen Hendry arrived, he kind of spurred everybody else on to play the game. Yeah, of course, they're playing here for the Stephen Hendry Trophy. Uh, Mark doesn't normally go into the balls until the last ball, but he took the advantage there to go Thank into you. them, fully expecting to be on the red to the right corner. But he just put too much into the cue ball whiz past that so it looks like unless he takes the red on by the blue it looks like it could be end of break and he'd have been looking for a big break here may not be over yet though yeah i'd be disappointed well the red has run safe though So Craigie does come back to the table. And Sam Craigie, of course, it's a big match for him in terms of the ranking points. He gets none if he loses. He's 54 in the world now. At the end of season, he needs to be in the top 64 to keep his tour card. Now, he was up at 33 earlier this year. So you know, points coming off and points not going on. I've uh, just seen him drop a bit. And that's something, obviously, in the second half of the season... He wants to put right. He doesn't want to get dragged into having to go to world qualifying to win matches to stay on tour. A couple of last 32s this season is best so far. He did get to the final group of the Championship League, which was just eight players, but in terms of knockout events, Wuhan Open and Northern Ireland Open, two last 32s. Oh, it's gone off.
Juan. Six. Seven. So, having sat out the first half of the frame, this is a good chance now for Sam Craigie. We saw him last season in the quarterfinals of the UK Championship. And he played Mark Williams at the Crucible back in 2021. He was beaten 10-4. That was his debut there. Williams also won the previous meeting. That was the best of seven in a European Tour event. Fourteen. Fifteen. Twenty two. Just overrun that one. Wanted to be on the pink, and he certainly didn't want to push a red towards that left side cushion. He had no choice. He had to play the pot, didn't he? So whether he takes that difficult pink or the difficult black, he could just touch the pink and snooker his man. But these players all attacking. And that's an excellent pot. Well controlled, that cue ball. This cloth looks like grease like actually. He hardly touched this. So he's got a couple of red still on cushions, but this blue puts him in front. Thirty-five. I think the red closest to the left middle. It may well pot if you get, can get in right behind it. Thirty-six. But that one that's tagged to the left side cushion is difficult. Yeah, that's the red we're talking about, and on second thoughts, it may not be possible. Well, he's going to need all the reds, including the two on the cushions. And that's to get to the snookers required stage. Gary Wilson in the North East Derby this morning, the second frame, he needed two snookers on the yellow. He ended up winning the frame against Elliot Slesser. Nice angle on the black just to drop in behind this red on the right side cushion, which isn't too difficult if you can just drop in right behind it. And he's overhit it slightly. Very difficult to judge this fast table. 46. Uh, if you can just screw back the cue ball to where it is now, he'd be able to move that red on the left side cushion. You could also play for the pink to do the same thing. <laughs> He's not quite comfortable, is he? He's a bit of a stretch, this. Yeah, and that's because he wasn't directly behind it and he was stretching. He was just off balance. You can see him there. He's just not right, is he? And it made the difference. Now, has he left the red on? He has...
one. Look at that cue ball run. Well, it's got to be close, that red. That's closest to the middle pocket. Close to potting, that is. Let's have a look at it. Nine. Yeah, the first day, you know, the more, those are more likely to go, and he struck it well. But now he's got this last red to deal with. Well, it's going to have to be the safety, so Craig will be coming back to the table. This is a red that he missed, and he was at full stretch. Had to get up and down a couple of times, that red. Mike Williams, 15. Well, Williams has not got the snooker, so quite a tense opening, this. Two points in it. Yeah, these are the kind of frames that we like. A little bit of excitement at the end of the frame. Nobody knows the winner at the moment. Oh, that's a great pot. <laughs> Terrific pot. One. Choice of yellow or blue. Have to play the yellow again if he takes the yellow. Well, it certainly deserved to be a frame winner. And it's all in his hands now. Three. All the balls there for the taking. Oh, and he's missed a simple yellow. Craig. How have you done that, Craig? Three. Craigie. Wow, what a miss that was. Maybe he just took it for granted. Touch of right-hand side on the cue ball just to check it back for the green, but... What a let off. And that will hurt if Mark can win the frame here. Yeah, this is what does hurt, isn't it, when you've, got, when you've had the chance. Sometimes against top players you don't get the chance, but he's had a few, and that was the best one, obviously, potting the last red. Oh, and then Mark Williams Would misses the green. It? Would you believe it? I think it's fair to call this a nervy start. Well, when Sam Craigie missed the yellow, he left it on. <laughs> he's missed the green, and he's got the snooker, I think. Not quite the snooker. Yeah, Williams has now tucked his shirt. I don't know whether he... Just caught a bit of clothing or something as he was playing that green. Anyway, it's turned into a very tense frame. That's the green, simple green, and simple yellow from Sam Craigie. Well, he was sort of pointing to his pocket as if he sort of just caught, hasn't quite cued it properly, caught something. And this is only the start of the week. Imagine uh, Sunday come the final, how tense it will be. If 
you take the green onto the middle, the cue ball's going into the blue. You could take it onto the corner. Yeah, and he's catching something there, isn't he? That may be why he missed the green. Well, on that side, he's untucked his shirt. So. Oh, what a, it was a good decision, it would seem. Yeah, what a <laughs> shot, that was. What a great pot. Well, as I said earlier, it's what he's always been known for, the ability to just knock in a great ball. But what about this one? Brilliant. Screwing back for the brown as well. Now then, he's still going to need the pink because the blue will put him 13 in front with 13 on. Yeah, made sure of the blue, give himself a chance at the pink, knowing that he can't lose the frame. Don't think he'll take it on, but you never know with Mark Williams. He did do. Playing the cue ball Mark to the Williams. ball cushion wow. just in case he missed it. Well, be interesting if this goes to a respot because Williams always, if he is put in first, always tries to cut it in the respot. We'll see if that if we get to that point. Oh. Well, I don't think we are going to get to that point. Because the pink is waiting. So it's been quite an eventful start, this. They've both had quite a few chances. Williams has been distracted by a pocket, Six. not on the table, in his trousers, it seems. But he's won the frame. He's off and running. On day one of the Bet Victor Scottish Open here in Edinburgh, the reigning British Open champion, Mark Williams, leads Sam Craigie 1-0. On the pink, so 1-0 against Sam Craigie. Just to say, uh, Martin Gould has withdrawn, as he did from the shootout. So I hope uh, all is well with Martin. Obviously, he hasn't travelled here. Zhou Yu Long has the walkover into the last 32. That was actually a second-round match, because they both qualified. Zhou Yu Long gets the walkover there. To come after this match, it's Luca Brassell, the world champion, against Ulian Boyko. Brain, a teenager, that'll be a very interesting one, I think. So, just, so right. may I just ask you to put it down? May I right. just ask you to put it down, please? Referee. It's making too much noise. He's asking someone to put something down. And I don't, I'm not saying this is why Mark Williams missed this, but didn't get that close, actually, for him. And he's given Sam Craigie the chance, but again... Not taking it. Maybe that's a slight hangover from frame one. Yeah, quite possibly. He may still be thinking about that yellow. But he's got to take these chances because they don't come round often, as you said earlier. You know, against the top players, you very rarely get easy balls. And that one. was a relatively easy one. Once Mark no, gets in I around the balls, he's still very formidable. Well, at the moment, the referee is sort of officiating the audience, <laughs> telling various people to put things down. Yeah, and that's the trouble, isn't it? When it's so quiet, you can hear anything down there. A sweet wrapper, for example. Well, it's great to see so many people here on this opening day. I'm sure it'll be full every day. We've seen the ticket sales up at every event this season, which is brilliant. Seven. Now, the easy red, that goes to the right corner. The black doesn't go. And it looks like the pink 13. is out of commission too. So may have to stun behind the black or play up for the blue. Tricky shot. Could play for the black into the same pocket, but there's not a lot of room there to stun him behind the black. Oh, he's managed it beautifully. It's interesting, he wears glasses uh, in sort of normal civilian life. Not when he's playing snooker, he was saying his eyes 
and feel them deteriorating, which is a concern for his game, but no sort of signs of deterioration, is there? It doesn't look like it, does it? 21. No. He's still playing some mean snooker. Yeah, he's going to miss the easy ball, but everybody does. 22. It's only the odd one. Played a beautiful shot with the rest in this frame. 29. Very delicate playing position for the red to the right corner. 30. And as I said before, he likes to take the loose reds. There's a gap there to go into them. And I suppose a lot of players would play into that gap with the advantage of the two loose reds. But he likes to take all the loose reds and then go into them. 37. He's often said it himself. That's what he likes to do. 38. He may go into them here. Still got the advantage of that loose red. But he's looking at where he wants to be to land on that red. And he could bring more reds out if he got. Just needs to leave it a little bit short, like so. And now more are coming out. 45. Just, just one. I expected a, a couple more at least. But again, he could play for that red on the left side cushion. Being a left handed player. Oh, you could see it was on the near angle. Mark Williams, 46. I'm thinking more about the position than the pot, maybe. Yeah, he was just very slightly hampered, wasn't he, by that other red. Still a surprise to miss it, though. And an annoyance, clearly. I suppose the saving grace is he didn't get onto the red. And that was all because Sam Craigie missed the easy red to the right corner. That 46 break. Just to confirm the uh, results this morning, Mark Selby beat Sean O'Sullivan 4 2. It's quite a long match, that. Ding, though, only took 47 minutes, Ding Jun Wee, to beat David Grace 4 0. So carrying on the good form from the UK Championship. Jimmy Robertson beat uh, one of the uh, wildcards here, Amar Nickbal 4 2. And Gary Wilson beat Elliot Slesser 4 3. So the defending champ through. And Sam Craigie in a spot of bother. Yeah, great safety. You could see he got the line of the shot absolutely perfectly. Oh, and I miss Mark Williams, six. And a free ball. Yeah, and the free ball could be handy here really he could push a ball safe if he had the ball replaced he'd just come off the side of the pack and land into them again so good decision this by mark williams so that's trouble again and the ball safe not many people would have thought of that one yeah that's uh experience for you He played well in York also, Williams lost to Ding in the quarterfinals in a decider. He was actually 5-4 up, but uh, produced some good snooker there. Yeah, two bouts at the cherry there. First one by the black, he could have hit. Oh. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh, Just keeps giving points away. Well, speaking of points, of course, that... that a uh, match with Ding that Mark Williams played, as we see this again. This was unlucky, the enough. The match uh, Mark played with Ding was a frame that set a new record for most points scored in a frame. They beat the old one by uh, three points. <coughs> 195 points, Joe, in one frame. 
I was just about to ask you about that. I didn't know if you knew. So there are a few fouls. Yeah, yeah <laughs> to say the least. <clears throat> 195, well, eh? Well, Ding scored 94 points and lost the frame. Mark scored 101. <laughs> I expect it was a long frame as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were on the green, I think, for half an hour. A delicate little shot that from Sam. So easy to get the speed wrong while the cue ball drifts off a little. Push it right on. And again, a crafty little shot that because he knows the pink is stopping the cue ball hitting this right hand side of the reds as we're looking at it. I'm trying to force Sam Craig into taking this pot on. If he misses it, every chance of losing the frame. Doesn't have to take it on, he could land up to the red behind the black. Good. What a shot. What a shot. And swung the cue ball past the reds. That was a very good shot from Sam Craig. All the top spin on the cue ball, swinging that ball past the reds. Great pot. And what a steal this would be if he could manage to win the frame here. No reason why he shouldn't. There's nothing really safe except the green. Beat Judd Trump 5 0. Making event. Yeah, he's one of these players who had a very, very strong junior and amateur career. He won the English national title at basically age, every age division under 21, under 16, under 15, under 14. So the signs were there from a young age. <coughs> And then his big breakthrough was winning the World Under-21 Championship. And I got him on the tour initially back in 2010. 11. But of course then you experience a massive step up in standard. I think some of the young lads who've got on this year are finding that, just how tough it is against so many, so many good players now. I'm so surprised that he played the black there because he could 18. have played the pink for the easy red nearest the cushion, then the black, and it would have been easier to play position on the reds. As it is, he played the black and it wasn't as easy to get onto the reds. He's still on a thin cut, I believe, but it's not easy by any means. Totally misjudged the speed of the table there. He needs a bit of luck, and he's got some, I believe. 18. This is the shot again. I mean, totally misjudged the speed of the table there. Uh, he could come off the cushion and try and pop that red over the pocket. But 
very difficult to judge. Another very good shot this. Look at where the cue ball is and look where he's put the red. I gave that some thought. And had he left the red on, at least he got a red safe. So now it's Sam Craig that's in trouble. Unless he can play the swerve there. looking at it but it's not an easy swerve he's got to swerve it and catch it thin to pot it so maybe that red just above the pink he could play that to the left corner and get the cue ball back to where it is now just gonna catch it thin it's a big shot this is 38 behind if he leaves Williams a chance it's probably 2-0 didn't try to hide the cue ball behind the green. He went all out for the pot and that could cost him dearly. One. Well, not the kindest of kisses. Still needs to get back to the reds. Back we go, Marcel Eckhart has just been refereeing the Moscone Cup, the big uh, Europe v America pool event at Alexandra Palace. That's a great shot. That's a great shot. Very nearly got the snooker. But he has freed the pink. Yeah, just caught it a little bit too thin, and that's why the cue ball's come out of balk. I was trying to get in behind the blue and the brown. A half chance, you could say. 
just depends what kind of an angle he's got on the red, whether he can get to the black or not. Oh, that's great. Q power too good. One. Oh, look at that for a shot. Just showing his Q power there, Sam Craigie. Would have liked to have been on the blue or the brown. Sam Craigie. Well, he's competed well in this match so far, but still behind in this frame with William Stuka, though. Oh, the miss. Yeah, it was a little pacey as well. He just wants to land up to this red. Doesn't want to hit it full and leave it on. And he would have done there had he hit it. So just maybe a, a little bit of adjustment in pace here. Yeah. Well, that, that was a better pace. Long direction. These points helping Sam Craigie. <coughs> yeah, that's much better. One. What a pot that was. And these two reds by the black will go. I didn't think that red went, but obviously it did. Looks like the brown. But the brown isn't quite as easy to get to the reds. He could play the cannon to the black and the reds. He's thinking of bringing the green off the cushion and playing the same. Nothing wrong with that. Sam Craigie won. Well, that's a very good snooker. And if he does hit them, every chance of leaving a red on. Yeah, it's a sort of frame you so often 
controls well, Williams gets a lead and just does enough. But Sam Craig is hit back well in this frame. Hold on, Ennis. Sam yeah, gets his chance. Think, don't think that will be going back. And this is his chance. Well, this would be a great frame to win against Mark Williams, as I say, with all his experience. If he gets 40 or 50 in front, so often just does enough to close it out. One. Still got the problem of the green and the pink. I just wonder if he's thinking about bringing the green into play here, playing the cannon to the green. If he gets the cannon, he'd be on a colour, or should be. Yeah, that's what he's played. Oh, no. he hasn't brought, hit it full enough. Still left it on the cushion. But it was good thinking from Sam Craigie there. Had he caught that full, he would have been on the yellow, brown or blue. Sixteen. Just ten points the difference now then. I think still favouring Mark Williams. Sam Craig, 16. Yeah, as I say, it's been competitive in both frames. The first one was resolved on the pink, but the difference obviously between being competitive and actually winning the frames. You'd still be disappointed to be 2 0 down if that's what happens. Yeah, from there, he'd be delighted where the green's gone. He's got to be careful here not to hit the pink and leave the green on if he plays the green round the angles. This looks good though. Six and a half minute frame this. Williams, I guess, still favourite where the pink is because he won't need it. Well, at the moment he doesn't anyway. Yeah, I think he enjoys these kind of games, Mark Williams. He said that he's still enjoying the game. And it appears as though he is. There's some very crafty shots. It's good to watch him play and just determine what kind of shots he's going to be playing because he'll play some that you haven't thought of, that's for sure. Well, 
still needs the brown and blue. Difficult to hold for the blue here. If it was just the brown he needed, he'd have a go at this full blooded, but because he needs the blue, it's difficult to hold for the blue. Just checking, 13 the difference. 17 if he pots the brown. And that's why he didn't have a go at it. If you can't get to the winning ball, then why play it? That's a great safety. Now, if you should get the snooker, and get the four points, he'd only need the brown. competed very well in this frame, Sam Craigie, but he's just in trouble nearly every other shot. That's a good hit though, and he'll be happy with that. Mike could take this on, screw back a little for the blue. Very risky to play it. Very positive player though, isn't it? Great pot. Didn't play ideally on the blue, played the cue ball to the cushion just in case he missed it. And left himself a cut on the blue to the middle for the frame. He'll be having a go at this one, I feel. He could have tucked the blue on there and played safe on the pink. It would have been pink ball game, really, then. Yeah, great shot. Well, this, that... is, this is someone who tells us his eyesight is deteriorating, <laughs> but that was a brilliant pot on the blue again. Yeah, under pressure as well. Two snookers needed. Seems mission impossible, and indeed, Sam Craig concedes, so he's competed hard for two frames, but he's lost the first on the pink and the second on the blue, and it's Mark Williams, who's already halfway to victory and a place in round two. He leads in Edinburgh 2-0. Of the Scottish Open here in Edinburgh, and uh, Mark Williams has battled through two pretty tough frames. He won the first on the pink, the second on the blue, he leads 2-0, against Sam Craig. Williams only actually potted seven more balls in the match, but the bottom line is it's that scoreline, 2-0. Yeah, it's the important balls, isn't it? And what an important ball that blue was in the last frame. Great opening red there from Sam Craig. Cue ball close to the ball cushion. It's a great pot, but not ideally on a colour. It's a snooker. He played some good safety, didn't he, in that last frame? And he's polished some good balls, but at times he's just been slightly outmaneuvered by Williams, who's been doing smart things, putting balls safe and just being the clever player that he is. And then, of course, in the end, he stepped in and knocked in that great blue to win the last frame. Yeah, when Sam could have played the blue himself, he had a fairly straight blue into the right corner. OK, he couldn't get to the pink, but it was an important ball to pot the blue because then you could play the safety on the pink and it's then it's anybody's on. game. As it was, he played the safety, but it still was difficult for him to win the frame with that pink being on the side cushion. Had he got a chance at the blue? So I think I'd have played the pot, although you couldn't get the blue, uh, the pink. And then continued to play good safety because he had been playing very good safety. I mean, look at that. It's dead on the cushion. His safety play is very, very good, but it doesn't phase Mark Williams. Just gets down and 
There's a good safety himself. Well, on that occasion, just a containing safety. There is a red on to the yellow pocket, but again, it's very risky to take that red on when you're 2-0 down. No, I mean, nothing does phase Mark Williams, does it? I mean, I saw him after that defeat to Ding. 6-5, it was nearly midnight. And as a left of venue, he was chatting to a group of Chinese fans who were waiting for Ding to come out after his media commitments. And Mark was stood there talking to them and posing for selfies. You would not have known he'd lost 6-5 in the UK Championship quarterfinals. Every credit to him for taking the time and just being able to, within minutes, just get over it. Because there's a lot of players that still be thinking about that now. <laughs> but he got over it within minutes. Yeah, I suppose that's why they call him laid back. And he is. It's not a put on. He's genuinely laid back. And it tells in his snooker. Yeah, and he loves competing still. I think Williams said himself that the practice is not something he wants to be doing every day now, but when he gets out into the arena, the competitive juices start flowing again. That British Open final beat Mark Selby there, 10-7. It, uh, it was turning into a marathon, and then he won the last frame. He needed a snooker, which against Selby is, you know, not an easy prospect, and he got it and made the clearance. And that was ranking title number 25. So far, Craigie has just been able to, unable to get in early and sort of make breaks, which I guess is more what he would be hoping to do rather than allow Williams to sort of dictate these frames. Yeah, there's just nothing you can do, though, is there? I mean, yeah, you want to get in and make big breaks, but look at the safety. You know, where does the big break come from here? In fact, every time he's been to the table in this frame so far he hasn't had a go at a pot except the opening ball that he knocked in superbly didn't finish on a colour he's just been forced into playing good safety back Tournaments really have been coming thick and fast, haven't they? This is actually the 10th ranking event of the season. The last of 2023. There is qualifying for the German Masters next week and then the main tour, World Snooker Tour, resumes in January. Some of the players, Williams included, are going to Macau for their exhibitions over the Christmas period. Another superb shot, kind of forced into it, couldn't see a safety, he studied it for quite a while.
terrific one ball potter as has been said many many times I'm not sure if he tried to Eight. go into the pack there or play around the cushions for the reds but he hasn't been fortunate with the kiss Right-handed player would play the red down the cushion, but still a tough pot and even tougher with the rest. Great shot, absolutely great shot. Yeah, just over the hour mark for the match and Mark Williams in control of things here. And he's got that two-frame cushion. He feels he can take these shots on. Became the oldest player last season to make a maximum break at the English Open. It was this time of year, just before Christmas. Well, that is unexpected. Well, after the initial long red and then the red with the rest, you know, this was the easiest of the three, clearly. Yeah, very disappointed with that. A half chance then for Craigie. Not easy. Pot. Needs a little bump. Again, nothing there. Sam Craigie won. It's a good pot. Deserved better. But just the snooker. I don't think you're getting anything from this. Not a judge. <laughs> Just got there. The referee was right above the reds, making sure. Yeah, nothing gets past Marcel Eckhart. One of the best referees on the circuit, without any doubt. Another great pot. And again, he's not landed on a colour. He's potted three great balls in this frame. But this one, I mean, I do get what he was playing there. He was playing the cue ball to the cushion just in case he missed it. But the others, he was unfortunate not to be on the colour. Again, great touch.
again, a chance here. Sam Craigie, it's a tough pot. 2 0 down. You don't want to be playing these shots, but it's, I don't think he's got any choice. Trying to hold for the black, which he did do. Oh, any damage done. One. So another chance for Mark Williams. Yeah, Craig, he's tried so hard to force his way in in this frame, but you know, in that chair. Well, he'll be getting out of the chair. <laughs> yeah, very quickly. One. Very, very unexpected this. Straight black off the spot. Just cannot afford to miss easy ones, and he has missed a couple of easy ones. Gonna punish the top players when they miss. Make them think. It was awkward queuing. But still fancied him strongly to pot it. Well, certainly when you see a player miss a black off the spot as Williams did, you know you're looking to make them think about it, make them dwell on it. But Williams right back at the table. One. It's a tournament that he has skipped a few times. It's actually only his fourth time he's played in the Home Nations version of the Scottish Open, which began in 2016. But the three times that he's played in it, he's reached the last 16 each time, including last year. The thing is, Williams, he doesn't mind if it's scrappy. He wants to get to four. And, OK, he's made some mistakes. He's forgotten about those now. It's just about this visit. Trying to do enough to make it 3-0. Liked a little bit more pace in the cue ball there. I think the green may be a, a little bit too straight, but if not, he could take the green, try and come back down for the reds. A colour should seem to the snooker's required stage. Yeah, 
And he just managed to slide into the pocket there. Just the blue needed then. He wasn't sure, was he, till the last moment. But as you say, the blue puts him 52 in front with 51 on. Forty. So what an important red that was that Sam Craig missed to the middle. <laughs> He's annoyed Williams. there. Forty. Because that obviously would have killed the frame off. One snooker needed. Yeah, he missed that by a long way as well, didn't he? I mean it didn't look that thin. One. Black has to go in. Yeah, it's clearly going to have to be a good snooker against uh, the Wiley Williams. Yeah, lots of right-hand side on the cue ball there. Just missing the black, by the way. Opponent needs a snooker. This is the problem. I mean, he, he got him in a good one, but it's because Craigie who needs <laughs> the snooker in the frame. Yeah, and uh, well, at least they've still got a chance, maybe. <laughs> oh, Ooh, if you just missed that Black knuckle, Williams. it might have hit that. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's looking like a much taller order. Two required. He's left a chance at the red, which has not gone in. Uh, William's annoyed. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's a good shot. Well, the red going close to the cushion makes it a little bit easier to hit. But it stayed close to the brown, every chance of free ball. Oh, he's played it hard. Had he missed that, could have been a free ball.
been quite a disjointed encounter. We've not had a 50 break. Highest to the beach at a 46. Craig has just not been able to, to get in early in frames and, and sort of play his game. He's always been sort of dancing to Mark Williams' tune, really. Now, can the Welshman dispatch the red? Confirm that they'll be three and a lot. Yes, he can, is the answer. So, Sam Craig, he has it all to do now. As this, we've been saying, you know, he's fought hard, he's competed well, but he's in big trouble. A frame from defeat. the red that removed any doubt about who was going to win the frame. Nine. There used to be an edict, it's not that long ago, that players had to tuck their shirts in. The referees used to tell them off about it, but maybe uh, in the spirit of Christmas, Mark Williams will be allowed to carry on like this. This was the series, of course, the Home Nation series, where uh, Ding Jun Wee was Dr. Frame for wearing the wrong trousers. <laughs> they were too smart, it turned out, or the wrong colour. Well, Williams has done what he does, which is finds ways to win these frames. As I say, they've been a bit disjointed, but he's firmly on top now. He leads 3-0 and requires just one more for victory. Talking to the referee, and uh, by tucking his shirt back in, maybe the referee did uh, just ask him to do that. Kind of considered <laughs> to be smart and tidy. Scoreline's pretty frame. smart and tidy for Mark. He's 3-0 up. Sam Craig. So Sam Craigie with it all to do here, trailing 3-0. He's had uh, attempts in all three frames to get stuck in, but uh, despite competing well, he finds himself in trouble. Yeah, I, I quite like the way that Sam Craig has competed. He has competed well. He's potted some really good balls, but hasn't finished on a colour. But he's had to contend with Mark Williams' terrific safety play. And clever play, putting him in trouble more often than not. I think he's a, a better player than 54 in the world, but there's so many great players nowadays. You've got to win, simple as that. Well, this is a half chance. That full ball kiss on the brown has given Sam a chance. These are difficult though, 3 0 down. Good pot. Good pop. Screwed the cue ball out of a little bit of trouble. Didn't want to leave an easy pot for Mark Williams, had he missed it. Uh, what can you do? I did miss an easy pot to the middle in the last frame, which allowed Williams to kind of win the frame from it. Well, he is in first now, so this is a chance for Sam Craigie to build a nice lead in this frame and not have to sort of go through the, the safety grind against Williams. <coughs> Mind switching hands, does he? Well, yeah, at this stage of the match, though, I think that was very risky. But obviously he can play very well left-handed. Seems to happen more and more these days. It was once, you know, it was actually big news when Ronnie O'Sullivan did it Twelve. that time against Elaine Robidoux at the Crucible. It's big news for Elaine. <laughs> he didn't like it at all, but, you know, we're just used to it now. More and more players seem to do it. Twenty. 
this positional play on the red from the black wasn't good, which meant his positional play to the blue wasn't good either. He could take the pink, doesn't have to do much with the cue ball. The yellow is a little bit too straight. Yep, good pot. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. He's one of the players closing in on a hundred centuries for his career. Ninety-four. He's only made three this season, though, so far. Now I may be able to open more reds up here if he just leaves it short, which he has done. Forty-three. Don't have to play this hard, just knock a two or three reds out if possible. And that's perfect. Well, I'm saying perfect. He's perfect. He's knocked reds out, but the black is not a gimme. Yep, nicely done. And this is more like it from Sam Craigie. 51. Just caught that near angle, but managed to drop. Well, this is the highest break of the whole match, but he wants to keep going, clearly put the frame away and just show Williams that A, he's not given up and B, he can take out frames needing just one chance. Because then these matches, these best of sevens can turn around pretty quickly. Yeah, he's got, he's got to finish it now though, hasn't he? And the chance. There's only one more loose red. The others are very difficult to get onto. Fifty-eight. And he's gonna need another 59. red in the colour. May have to play one of the reds to the bought corner. Got both reds to yellow pocket and green pocket. May have one to the middle. And that makes things a lot easier. So just a red and a colour from this red. Should seem safe. Well, to the snooker's required stage anyway. Yeah, this is exactly what he was looking to do right from the off in the match, of course. Pink. And Williams needs two snookers. Yeah, Left-handed again. <laughs> Frame ball. Well, in the qualifying section, we had 19 centuries. The highest was Ben Merton's, 139. And the high break price here is 5,000. 74. Can't actually now threaten that, but even so, this is a frame winning break. That's the main thing. 79. Yeah, and hasn't he took them well? You know, this is what I was saying earlier, though. He's, he's better than 54 in the world, he's better than being 3 0 down. The thing is, though, these days, 54 in the world is a seriously good player. Zhang Ander was 55 when he got to the English Open final. And coming into this event, he's 13 because he won the international championship as well. And in fact, if Judd Trump wins tonight against Sidney Wilson, Trump will have to play him in round two because qualifiers were held. That was just before the international championship. So he was actually in the 30s then, Zhang. So that'll be a bit of a blockbuster if that comes off in round two. Meantime, it's been a bit of a blockbusting frame this from 
Sam Craig. It's been Mighty. going just seven and a half minutes, and it looks like he's about to make a century. Mighty. Oh, what a shame. Great break, didn't make the century, but he has won the frame with that 95. And uh, in no time at all, he's just served notice that this match is not over yet. Williams' lead is reduced to 3-1. So 3-1 to Mark Williams, who uh, has long since abandoned that uh, break-off he was playing for a while into the, the back of the Reds. That's all gone. The danger, of course, always if you play the conventional one is you leave the red on. And that's why he played the other one. He was fed up of losing the frame from the break-off. Yeah, that was the initial reason. I think he, he also just liked the fact that it created a bit of <laughs> chaos in the game. You know, people were debating whether it should be outlawed and all sorts of ridiculous things. And other people started playing it without really knowing why. So Mark had his fun with it. But this match, is kind of, the feel of it has changed after that last frame from Craigie. You know, he put together a really good break. And if you could do it again in this one, then it really does become interesting. Yeah, he just showed how good a player he is. His safety play is excellent. I think it's just a matter of time. He's got to stick at it, keep believing. Says he, he doesn't win many matches, but if he keeps playing like this, it'd be hard to beat. Long red to the right corner for Mark Williams. His long potting is already said. It's wow. not as good, but that's wriggled in. Now is he on the black? The pink's available, but can he pot the black? That's easier if he can. It's very close, this, I can tell you. And the referee is right there on top of it. The red would move backwards if he hits the black first. <laughs> well, maybe a bit too close for comfort. Yeah, and the problem is with the pink, it, it can't get to a red, so is it worthwhile playing the pink? He thinks not, so just the safety. Oh, one. So, great opening red, but he kind of lost the cue ball. Had the cue ball stopped where the red was, he'd have had the pink to the middle. Well, another long red. These are tough shots, though.
is it going to get lucky? Has left a red to the right corner. No, it's not too bad. It's got the yellow to the middle to get him back to the reds. You see now well Sam Craig is playing, so he'd want to up his game as regards break building. Needs a big bounce. I uh, would have liked to have been straighter on this red that's just above the black. Didn't quite pop the red, oh. uh, the yellow, cleanly. And that's why I didn't finish nicely on that red. <laughs> this could be good. The red just above the black. That's the one that he's played for. Nine. Excellent position and shot. Ten. Mm, just under hit it. So, wrong side of the blue. Pink a little bit too difficult, but the black now is free, so he could play for that red. That's closest to the black cushion. So, good chance this now for Mark Williams. 16. Could do with that cue ball being closer to the object ball, though. 17. Just like that. Still playing a mean game, isn't he, at the age of 48? Mark Williams, everyone has their own views on the sort of greatest of all time list, but he's on that list for sure, very high up. And at one stage in his career, 20 years ago, he was comfortably the best player in the game. 24. He won the UK, the Masters and the World Championship in the same season. The only other two players to do that, Steve Davis and Stephen Hendry. 25. And he's had his problems. He dropped out of the top 16 famously and his career was kind of going nowhere. He followed the sight right alignment method, got back within a year to being world champion. Incredible. Yes, that combined with hard work because he started practising hard again. 32. Yeah, Lee Walker deserves a lot of credit. He's in his corner. Of course, Lee, former professional, and travels with him as his coach. And I've seen them practising together. He's Every shot he's watching and making sure Mark's doing it right. But when you're out there, you have to do it on your own, of course. Yeah, I suppose it's good to have somebody that you respect. And having met Lee Walker a few times, in fact, played him recently. You know, I was very impressed with him. Needs to recover here. He's not on the black, so it's going to be the blue. Great shot. Yeah, I think Lee will be pretty happy with that one. He just stroked it in, didn't he? What a great shot. 38. Needs another. Thirty-nine. And still struggling to get correct position on the object ball. You can see the winning line. We have to just play a little screw shot here and play for the loose red. Another difficult shot coming up. 44. Another good shot completed. And now a good angle on the blue to go into the reds. If this works out right, it 
Could be a frame win and match winning chance. Well, he's not going to be left with anything easy, that's for sure. Didn't quite catch them full enough. I could just touch the reds. Don't go down the table and leave the chance of a long pot for his opponent. Just roll into them. Well, he's made his highest break of the afternoon. It's not yet won in the match, though. Leads by 51. Could effectively have been the winning shot had he got on a red. Well, if he skimmed off the reds here, which is what he's looking at, and he could hide that red nearest the right corner, this would be a good attacking safety. Got to get it right, though. And he doesn't want that cue ball to go in the pocket, obviously. But that looks pretty good. And that's put pressure on Mark Williams now. Clever safety, that, from Sam Craigie. Nothing safe. Now he's going to get a chance here, Sam. The black now only available into the right corner. Otherwise, he could have just dropped this red in for the black. Well, it's a massive shot, isn't it? This could be the start towards 3-2 or it could be the end. <laughs> Nicely done. One. Well, there's a case for saying his favourite here now. Where well, the Reds were there, he absolutely had to get that, and he has done. So he's given himself the chance to fight back in this frame. This came very close to missing. Had that been later in the week, that might not have got in. It's just that the tables, the cloth is new and they do slide in the pockets a little bit easier. Eight. But the way that Sam Craig is playing, especially in the last frame, I'd fancy him here to win the frame. He seems to be playing a lot more freer, his arm, his cue action, all seems to be under control. One. Just 20 points in the game. But it's Sam Craig Eo's favourite to win this frame now. Yes, now it's about keeping Thirty cool. Eight. 39. Well, that's the first mistake 
Losing the cue ball there. Going straight on the wrong side of the blue. That was a simple red to keep that cue ball the right side of the blue to get to the yellow. Well, he did have a, a little angle. So the only problem now is the green to get back to the, the brown. Needs a good angle on it. And he's run a little bit too far. Not straightforward now. Not sure if he can screw directly across the table for the brown. Looks like he can. 49. Needs the pink. Well, Mark Williams made 50, tried to get the Reds into play, didn't. Eventually, Sam Craigie was left a long red. It was a do-or-die shot. He had to get it. He did. And he's two balls away from extending the match. 58. So this has become very interesting now. 3-0, Williams a heavy... Hitting back in style here in Edinburgh, and this match now anybody's the lead reduced to a single frame at 3-2. 50, didn't kill the frame off. Sam Craigie stepped in with an excellent 64, 3-2. And that's what Williams obviously will have noted, the fact that Craigie effectively won those two frames in single visits, the first, the 95, and then when the chance did come, the 64. And they are the two highest breaks of the match so far by either player. And that was a long way off for Mark Williams. Uh, red, I think, will pass the green and it's an easy opener. Sam Craigie. Yeah, he saw Mark's reaction to this one, not close. So, slight concern for him. He was bossing things at 3-0, just the way the frames were being played out suited him, but it doesn't suit him to see Sam Craigie going on the attack. Six. And you can see on total points, he's actually in front. Seven. Now, he could go into the pack of reds here. And if he could catch the red directly above the black half ball. Uh, decided to play for the loose one. Nothing wrong with that. His opponent does the same thing. 14. Takes a lead and then decides to open them. Now that's nudged another one out. Could play the cannon to the two reds. The one to the left of those two reds would be nice. Pushing it towards the middle leaves the red into the right corner. That's an option. Also to go into them again. That's an option. He's got quite a few shots he could play. Just bounce the cue ball off the cushion for the red to the left of the pink. Just looking to see if one of these two reds will go to this left corner. So lots of options of shots that he could play. Chose to go into them. And he's on one, not ideally, but it's possible. 22. Uh, 
Yes, this was the only way the match was going to turn round. He was competing in the safety, but he was coming off second best to Williams. But going on the attack, making breaks, he's dangerous, clearly. Well, Mark Williams has helped him a little by missing that long red at the beginning of this frame. Going into the pack at the on a 50 break in the last frame, didn't quite catch them full enough. Had he caught them full, going through to the next round now, I think. Still got a red to the back of the pack there. That will go to the right corner. Looking at going into the reds as well. And again, he needs to, if he's going to go into the reds, he needs to catch the pink full in the face. Doesn't want to catch it half ball. That's more like it. Now, how's your luck? Well, he's on one. Not ideally again, but he is on one. It could have been so much easier. Caught them full. 36. Played that very well, though. And enough loose reds to win the frame at this visit and take us to a decider. Well, this Things is... have really hotted up, haven't they? This is very impressive and, you know, Yes, Mark Williams missed the long red, but why did he miss it? Because of how well Craig had played in the last two frames. He's put pressure on. He's come out, and his whole body language has been excellent. He's really gone for it. And it's working. A treat. 41. Those safe reds on the cushion are in his favour, obviously, with the lead he's got. So this is looking for all the world like 3-3. Three, three. So 63 the lead with this black, another red and a black should be sufficient. Yeah, and he gets on with it, doesn't he, 63. Sam Craig? When he's in amongst the balls, he gets on with it, he sees the shot very clearly. 64. Sees what he has to do and plays it. No messing about. Plays very good safety game as well. As we've been saying, he competed in the safety and it was only one ball at the end of it that made the difference. 71. But this is very impressive from Sam. 72. Might try and move those reds off the side cushion if he's got the angle. If not, still got one more red he could play for. Hasn't quite got the angle to disturb them. Well, he was 3-0 down 32 minutes ago. But it's about to go into a decider. And he's playing great stuff now. Of course, in a decider, it'll be his first chance to win the match. It will sort of shift again. <laughs> well, somehow he's hit the pink there rather than the reds. It doesn't matter, the frame's his. And as I say, he's won these impressively. 95, 64, 85. In just over half an hour. Oh. <laughs> Things have changed dramatically. Sam Craigie has gone on the attack. It's worked. And from 3-0 down, he's forced a decider with Mark Williams. Great drama here on day one in Edinburgh. 3-3.
Well, what a dramatic turnaround. We've seen matches obviously turn from 3 0 to 3 3, but it's the way it happened in just over half an hour. A barrage of breaks from Sam Craigie. 3 3 it is. Mark Williams, who was 3 0 up, breaking off for the decider. Yeah, and what you need in a decider is a good. And that's okay. No long red on to go for. Didn't do much wrong in the last ray, Mark Williams. He had to go a difficult long red, missed it by a distance, mind, but he left it very easy, Sam Craigie. And then after that, he made everything easy. Went into the back, the pack, a couple of times and turned out nice. Well, let's see what happens now, because, of course, there is a difference between chasing a match and trying to win a match. But he's played so well to, to get back. Williams, of course, the man with all the experience in close encounters down the years. Well, again, that's a worry, being so far away from the pot. Well, even he can get rattled, even if he doesn't always outwardly show it. Just the way Craig has come back at him. One. So, he's in again. What can he do? Blame for the red by the black spot. Clearing that area in case he plays for the black. This was the red that Mark attempted, but he didn't get anywhere near it, did he? Had he rattled it in the jaws of the pocket, at least, he wouldn't have left anything on. Seven. <coughs> Left himself slightly hampered there. Full seen. Bringing more reds into play with that shot. And this is just what you want in a decider. An early chance and the reds nicely spread. Nice little cannon he played there, and he did play it. Although, had he missed it, he would have been on the red to the left corner. He's not looking for problems because it looks straightforward just to either pop this hole for the pink or the other one to the right corner for the black. Twenty-nine. 
30. It's a good sign that everything's going in cleanly. Sam Craigie still got at least three reds that he could play for. Doesn't really want to play for this red that's on the black cushion. If he can get away with not playing for that just yet, he's ideally on the black to play for that red. But as I say, we can do with staying away from that for the moment. 37. So the last of the easy reds. He's took them well so far. Forty-three. Williams, watchful, keeping an eye on other tables as well, but he'll be focusing on this one, hoping, of course, to come back to it. Well, perfectly on the blue. Now, this is different. If he could miss the pink on the left and open the reds up, he'd push a red to the left corner. And that's exactly what he played. What a good shot that was. Didn't just go into the many hole now. Missed the pink on the left, or just caught it, but nicely done. And now he should, I'm saying should, I'm looking at the board and he still may have to go into them again. He's got another loose red. And he's gonna need Another red in the colour. 57. After this red. Well, he's shown great attitude, hasn't he? You know, he's 3 0 down. A couple of close frames he lost. He was being sort of outmaneuvered. You've got to still have belief in yourself. And that's what he demoed. 126. A really stunning recovery. And he knocks out the three times world champion, Mark Williams, in round one. A great win for Craigie. 4 3. I hope you enjoyed. Please give a like and subscribe.